Hi, welcome to the Paint Bar at Golden Artist Colors. I'm Patty Brady and I'm the director of the Working Artist Program. Today we're going to do a video about all the differences between the fluid mediums. Fluid mediums use the same chemistry as gels, but are a much thinner or lower viscosity, and this is not due to the addition of water. Because of the low viscosity of fluid mediums, they level out and are typically applied thinly. Fluids are more brushable than gels, so you can apply them in very thin layers or use them to make heavy body paints more brushable for detail painting or when a smoother texture is desired. With fluid mediums, there are fewer choices in thickness or viscosity. Your main consideration is sheen or surface quality. We're gonna begin with the fluid matte mediums, the mediums with the word matte in their name. Fluid matte medium is useful for lowering the viscosity of heavy body paint or to extend our fluid colors without adding glossiness. It is useful as a clear primer for canvas or for wood panels, and it's also used in our fast image transfer video. Matte medium has more matting agents than the fluid matte medium. That makes it a little thicker and it does more to reduce the gloss when you mix it with paint. The additional matting agents in matte medium make it less transparent than the fluid matte medium. It's also great to create a wax-like color and gives a translucent surface to your paint. Super matte medium is more of an additive than a medium because it has more matting solids than binder. As a result, super matte medium should only be used in combination with acrylic paint or other mediums. The function of super matte is to impart a matte finish to another color or medium. That's the matte side of the fluid mediums. With gloss, we have many more options of working properties dry or wet. Golden recently changed the name of polymer medium to gloss medium. This is a fairly resinous fluid acrylic that dries to a glossy finish. It's great as a sealer or extender for colors. It's thick enough to retain some brush strokes and tool marks. It's recommended to apply thinly rather than to pour because it tends to craze in thick applications. In this line of glossy mediums, there are a mysterious group of mediums called the GACs or GACs. They come in numbers like GAC 100, GAC 200. These are all low viscosity mediums. They dry clear to translucent and impart a glossy sheen to the surface. GAC 100 is the most popular of all the GAC products. It is a versatile acrylic sealer, primer, and extender. It can be used to thin any acrylic color and as a prep coat for sealing found supports before applying gesso or other acrylic grounds. GAC 200 is a very unusual acrylic medium in that it dries to a much harder finish than other acrylic mediums. This is useful in reducing the tackiness in the surface of a painting, but also in preparing very smooth and hard surfaces like metal or glass for painting with acrylics. Due to its hardness, GAC 200 is recommended for rigid substrates rather than flexible supports like canvas or paper. GAC 400 is a fabric stiffening medium. Used either alone or mixed with color, GAC 400 can be applied to natural fibers to act as a stiffening agent as it dries. GAC 500 is recommended for extending fluid acrylic colors without altering viscosity. GAC 800 is our pouring medium. It mixes well with color and will dry to a smooth, glossy surface with minimal crazing. Last, there is GAC 900, which is an acrylic medium that provides launderability to acrylic colors after heat setting. GAC 900 thins colors to make them easier to brush onto fabric, then makes them more permanent with heat setting using an iron or a dryer. There are a lot of ways to use acrylic mediums, whether altering sheen, creating structure and durability, 
Fluid mediums can be the most useful products in your studio. Be sure to watch all of our videos on mediums, grounds, and coatings to make the best of your artwork. Ever have any questions? Please call. We'd love to answer them for you. And thanks for listening.